the fire break out in town last year, Tanti Merle was in St. James. She was in a big argument with a girl called Aili. Now, when you hear Tanti Merle discussing politics, everybody does have to hush them out. Because Tanti Merle quick, 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 quick to get vexed. First thing she'll say is that she was in the square in 56 when the doc was talking, and how a snake followed a tree on a man's head, and how everybody jumped in the fountain except she and the doc. <laughs> so since that time, she on his side. So Eileen tells she must be because the dog ain't here when the snake falls. <laughs> well, who tells she say that? <laughs> it's right there, fight nearly start. Tanti Mol put on she basket, she roll up, she shut sleeve, and she square off. Well, boy, I never see a crowd gather so fast yet. You know, Trinidad crowd like farine. You just drop a little water and the whole thing swell up. Well, boy, in tutus, the crowd go from three little MAGA Indian boys who was Mako in the thing to about 400 people making noise. If you see crowd, the crowd so big that plenty of people thought was a political meeting. But they didn't know which party was having a meeting. So everybody started bawling out one thing and next one bawling the next thing and a set of confusion. Some people thought it was loot they've been looting. Like how they did loot JP supermarket. And they hurry come with bag and box to carry everything. Well, if you see Bacchanal. Well, boy, I see a man take up a fridge and he walk at it. And he stop for traffic light to change. <laughs> well, just as things look as if it go mash up and get out of hand, a fella call Mervyn dash up and shout out the whole of tongue and fire. Now, Mervyn is an alarmist. <laughs> In this case, a fire alarmist. <laughs> Mervyn can't just come and say, so and so burning down. He had to say the whole tongue burning down. <laughs> well, boy, when people hear that, the whole crowd scatter like when you're stoning fish. Everybody do so, and they're gone. Tanti Merle forget Eileen and ask Mervyn, where burning down? Mervyn say, Johnson's. Tanti Mel say, oh God, my cushion covers. <laughs> you see, the day before, Tanti Mel had gone down in Johnson's to buy cushion covers. But she didn't have enough money. So she buy half, and she tell the girl, put away the next half, she coming back for it the next day. So from the time Tanti Mel here is Johnson's on fire, all she's studying is the cushion covers. She forget politics, she forget Eileen, she forget Mobin, she forget everybody. And she just flagged down a taxi and said, Tong Tong. <laughs> Poor taxi driver. The man was happy, happy, <laughs> driving down the road, stopping in the middle of the road, no signal, <laughs> carrying on big conversation, scraping car, <laughs> bouncing people. I mean, a real normal, happy Trinidad taxi driver. Next thing, a mad woman in the car balling tong 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 tong. <laughs> well, boy, he was the only casualty of the whole fire. Tanti Mole bussy head. <laughs> well, boy, by the time Tanti Mole reached town, fire in full swing. If you see people and police and fire brigade, it was like Carnival Tuesday. People only running up close, close to the fire. Soon as wind changed, they're running back, smoking their tail. <laughs> so one minute, they're chasing fire. Next minute, fire chasing them. Police, meantime, putting up holes and things like spaghetti. Only pulling out holes, putting out holes. And the water, like it vexed. It don't want to come out the hose mouth at all. <laughs> and all this time, the fire only playing hopscotch and people were whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> fire going up the road. Well, boy, from the time Tanti Merle reached town, she fly out the taxi and head straight for Johnson's. Now you could hardly see Johnson's. First, it had fire and smoke. Plus, the police put up a set of barricades to keep off people. Tanti Mole jumped the first barricade. She squeezed through the second barricade and she knocked down the third barricade. And she heads straight for the fire chief. 
She says, Sunny boy, put more water on Johnson's. <laughs> All this time, them firemen wetting everything except Johnson's. You know in Trinidad, they do old fire. They just contain it. <laughs> they just wet everything except what burning. They say that is to stop the fire from spreading. Especially in the downtown area. Well, Tanti Mole couldn't care about containing or entertaining. All she studying was she cushion covers burning inside Johnson's. Well, boy, she says, Sonny boy, I say, put water on Johnson's. Well, then fireman so surprised to see this woman with she bag, basket, and parasol in the middle of all the smoke, they stand up with their mouth open so. <laughs> Next thing you know, Tanti Mole dropped the bag, basket, and parasol, and she snatched the people's hose. Well, you know how them fire hose powerful. It does take about three men to hold one. Well, next thing I see is Tanti Mole on the ground with the fire hose and water all over the place. Boy, I never see people run for cover so fast yet. A man even run inside the fire. He was a fella they call Never Bade. He afraid water too bad, he run straight inside the fire. Tanti Mole bade down everybody. She went down the fire chief. She mashed up three windscreen. She knocked six limers off a lamppost. She knocked down about 40 barricade. She almost drunk a little office boy who ran away to see the fire. They find him down in South Key, floating. And you know how them fellas like to cock up on top roof to watch fire. Tanti Mall mowed them down like a machine gun. She clean off a whole roof. You only see man disappearing one by one, one by one. People say World War III start. <laughs> Boy, Tanti Mall even wet a man all in Abercrombie Street. And you know how far that is from Johnson's. And a fella in San Fernando suing for water damage. <laughs> well, by the time they get the hose from Tanti Mall, Johnson's born flat, flat, flat. And the fire gone up the road laughing. Boy, that was confusion with Tanti Mole in that fire. They charged Tanti Mole with obstruction and intent to cuss. <laughs> they dropped the cuss charge because Tanti Mole said the fire chief cost more than she. <laughs> and in any case, she didn't really cuss, she only sung as if she was cussing. <laughs> but that is our next story. But here, the best joke. Two weeks later, Johnson's had a fire sale. And guess who was the first one in the line? Tanti Merle. <laughs>